Are you still trying to win 100% of the time? Okay, now that's not possible when it comes to trading. Okay, and that's why regardless of what instrument you trade, you always have to set a stop loss. Okay, so in today's video, I want to show you how to set your stop loss. Okay, I want to help you avoid losing money unnecessarily. Okay, now the tricky part of setting a stop loss is that it has to be a balance. Okay, meaning that you do not want to set it too tight where you do not give yourself enough room for the trade to move and neither do you want to set it too wide such that uh, you lose too much money. Okay, so it's really an art. Okay, and in today's video, I want to show you how to set it correctly. Okay, I've seen a lot of traders set it wrongly. Worse still, some of you don't even set a stop loss at all. And hopefully in today's video, I not only teach you how to set the stop loss correctly, but also encourage you to, act, to put it in, right? Because this will literally save your trading account and prevent you from blowing your trading account, okay? So what will you learn today? Today, I'll show you where you should place your stop loss. Okay, I'll give you some guidelines. Okay, I want to show you how not to place your stop loss as well. Okay, how not to put it in the wrong places. Okay, then I want to give you a case study about um, different, different examples of where or rather how you should place your stop loss in different scenarios. Okay, I'll cover the levels such as the um, horizontal support and resistance level, the dynamic support and resistance level, and how do you set your stop loss um, if you are trading using chart patterns, okay? Of course, I cannot cover through every single circumstances, but I want to give you the main, um, the main examples, all right? The main scenarios that uh, you will probably face if you are trading on a daily basis, okay? Lastly, if you stay to the end, okay? I want to show you a bonus tip. I want to show you how do you use this uh, beginner-friendly indicator to set your stop loss, okay? Sometimes a lot of um, beginner traders, they do not know like how wide their stop loss should be. How do they set it, okay? Even after the case study um, that I show you in this video, they still struggle, okay? So this uh, indicator, um, that I'll be introducing at the end of the video will help you, okay? I'll show you what the indicator is, how to set it up, and how to use it, okay? And more importantly, why it works, okay? Because there's no point telling you uh, what to do but not explaining to you how it works, okay? When I explain to you how it works, hopefully you'll be able to use it and you're able to just, you know, execute it, okay? Because I don't just want to throw information at you and don't tell you why it is the way it is, okay? Now, by the way, if this is the first video that you're watching, we have a free day trading card for you. So uh, the link is in the description. I have it over here. So it's actually a very comprehensive trading guide. You can see over here that it's about um, 33 pages long. Okay, so this is completely free for you. Okay, we sp spent a lot of time to put together this entire guide. You can see that it's really very comprehensive. Okay, uh, it'll cover everything you need to know and we do teach you a free day trading strategy. Okay, so make sure you check that out if you have not. Okay, at the same time, right, make sure you subscribe to uh, our channel. Okay, make sure that uh, you give us a thumbs up, help us to grow and impact more traders. Okay, so anyway, back to uh, today's video. Okay, just a moment, I'm having uh, some technical difficulties. Okay, right, back to today's video. Let's talk about where you should place your stop loss. Okay, now setting the right stop loss can be challenging. Okay, at the start of this video, I explained that uh, you need to have that balance, right? You want to give your trade enough room to breathe, but you also want to make sure that uh, you limit your loss such that if you are wrong, you get out, okay? You do not lose too much money if you are wrong, okay? There's no such thing as 100% in trading, so you should always have a stop loss, okay? This is mandatory, right? When it comes to trading, I always put a stop loss, okay? This is a something that I do not argue with my team at all. We always put a stop loss. There is no if, there, there are no buts. We always put it in and I want you to do the same, okay? I want you to always have the discipline to put in a stop loss, okay? A wrong stop loss level is better than no stop loss, okay? Please remember this. I'd rather you put a wrong stop loss, meaning that you place it at the wrong level than not put it at all, okay? Because, you know, if you, you, if you put it at the wrong level, you're just going to lose a bit of money. But if you do not put it and price starts going through, against you in a big direction, you know, and big movement, you're going to lose your whole trading account, okay? So please, I'd rather you not, I'd rather you put your stop loss at the wrong level than not put it at all. So please, please, please put in your stop loss whenever you are trading, okay? So where should you place your stop loss? I have it written over here, actually. You can uh, read over here, okay? You should place your stop loss where 
your initial trading idea is no longer valid. Okay, so meaning that let's say you are buying off support. Okay, you, are, you identify a key support and that level is broken. Okay, get out, simple. Okay, you want to put your stop loss a couple of pips below that support. Once it's broken, get out. Okay, conversely, let's say you are selling at resistance level and that resistance level is broken. Okay, get out, same thing. Okay, it's, it's not, not too complicated, but uh, I want to show it to you later uh, using some charts because uh, I'm afraid that you do not understand just by, you know, this... Um, uh, theory that I'm covering. So let me, I'll go into some uh, examples later. Okay, but before I do that, I want to talk about how not to set your stop loss. Okay, uh, these are some of the common mistakes that a lot of uh, new traders make. Okay, I've seen a lot of traders, what they like to do is they like to set their stop loss at some random arbitrary level. Okay, meaning that they say, okay, uh, based on my risk appetite, I'm willing to risk, um, you know, uh, if the currency drops uh, 50 pips against me and then they just set, you know, 50 pips and then if price goes again against them 50 pips, they get out, okay? That's not, that's not how you should set your stop loss. That's not the correct way to do it. So if you are doing that, please listen to this closely. If you need to rewind this video, make sure you do that because it's very important, okay? You should not set your stop loss based on how much, uh, you know, how much you're willing to lose as in your risk appetite, okay? The correct way to do it is you want to first determine how much you want to risk in dollar amount, okay? So let's say, let's say you're willing to risk $100, okay? And let's say one pip, just for the sake of uh, this, uh, you know, this video, let's say one pip is uh, $1, okay? So you're willing to risk $100 and one pip is $1, okay? So your stop loss is 100 pips. So naturally, uh, you want to only buy, you only want to buy uh, one mini, okay, 0 0.1, because 0 0.1 uh, is actually $1 per pip, okay? I'm sorry if that's a bit confusing, but basically what you want to do is you want to risk, uh, you want to calculate your stop loss. Let's say if your stop loss is 30 pips, then you want to size your trading position according to your stop loss distance, okay? You do not just want to every time when you enter a trade, enter in, you know, a fixed position size, okay? So determine how much you're willing to lose, okay? Let's say it's $100. Calculate the stop loss distance, uh, 30 pips, whatever it is, okay? Based on um, what I will show you later, then you size your position accordingly, okay? What you can also do is you can also hit onto, onto Google and type, position size calculator, okay, right, you, you can check that out and they'll tell you how much, um, how much, how big a position you, sh you should trade given uh, the amount that you want to risk as well as the stop loss uh, distance, okay? So let's look at case study now. I want to show you, uh, you know, um, how you should set your stop loss, okay? So in this case, let's talk about this horizontal support and resistance level, okay? So in this case, I identified uh, this level over here, which is 1.0775, okay? That's the level that uh, you are interested in uh, buying for this case, okay? So how should you set, set your stop loss level, okay? Remember earlier on, I say that uh, you want to set your stop loss where your initial trading idea is no longer valid. Okay, so in this case, if your key level is 1.0775, then you want to set your stop loss when this level is broken. Okay, so a logical level to set your stop loss in this case would be below this low here. Okay, because this is your level and you have this, this candle low here, you want to set your stop loss somewhere here. Okay. okay, so let's move on to case study number two, where we look at the dynamic support and resistance level. Okay, so similar to just now the case, I'm going to go through... Um, you know, how, how do you actually set your stop loss for this kind of scenario? So let's assume that, you know, you, you, your hypothesis is that uh, price is going to be supported at the uh, 20 period moving average. Okay, so what will you do is that if your theory is that the 20 moving period average is going to hold, then it will make sense that you put your stop loss just below the uh, moving average with a buffer. Okay, so let's say you enter somewhere here. Okay, maybe you enter on this candle here. Okay, this uh, kind of like doji candle. Okay, what you can do is you can just put your stop loss somewhere here. Okay, similarly for this case, let's say you entered this candle here, you can just put your stop loss uh, some distance below uh, the, the moving average. Okay, so the theory is always the same. What you want to do is that uh, you want to put your stop loss at a level where if price goes to that level or breaks the level, then uh, you are wrong and you should get out. 
okay so this is the dynamic support and resistance level okay if you are using like the bollinger bands as dynamic support and resistance uh, the same theory is true so if your you know your lower band is being broken your support is being broken then you want to exit and if your upper band is being broken then uh, you also want to exit okay now for chart patterns, in this case, I have a head and shoulder pattern here that I want to show you. So assuming that uh, you, know, you are looking at this chart and um, you, you, you see that this is a left shoulder, this is your head and this is your right shoulder. Okay, And your hypothesis is that uh, once this chart pattern breaks, okay, the neckline is broken over here, Okay, in this candle over here, you can see that uh, this neckline is broken. Okay, uh, When when this neckline is broken, your hypothesis is that price should go down. Okay, so in this case, you could be put your stop loss somewhere about around here. Okay, basically above, um, above the uh, neckline. Okay, because this is the neckline. Okay, and just put some distance above because if your hypothesis is that uh, you know the neckline is going to be broken and once it's broken, it should go down. Then you don't want price to go back up again. Okay, so that's how you can set your stop loss if you are using chart patterns. Okay, if you are not too sure about these chart patterns, but you are keen to learn more about this kind of chart patterns, then you can check out my other videos because I have other videos about our chart patterns and how to trade that. Okay, so another chart pattern I have for you over here is the double top. Okay, uh, in this case, uh, it's the same thing except that uh, you have the first top here and then you have the second top over here. Okay, and uh, you have the neckline over here, which is just basically the center, the center of the two, two, two tops, right? And uh, let's say your hypothesis is that, um, you know, you want to sell when a uh, price breaks below the neckline. Okay, that's a very textbook uh, example of uh, how to trade the double top pattern. Okay, let's say that's your hypothesis and you, you trade that. So ideally, you want to put your stop loss somewhere above, okay? Somewhere higher, okay, so that uh, you know, if price breaks below and it breaks back up, then it's very likely that uh, you are wrong and that you should get out of the trade, okay. So that's how you place your stop loss uh, for chart patterns, okay. So before I end off the video, I want to show you a bonus tip, okay, because uh, there are a lot of uh, beginners watching our, ch our channel, right? They do not know how to set stop loss, so this is the bonus tip that I have for you, right? Uh, you want to use the ATR indicator to set your stop loss. Okay, so what is the ATR indicator? It is the average true range indicator. Okay, if you use TradingView or you use any you know platforms, you will find this indicator called ATR. Okay, average true range. Okay, most platforms have it. So it doesn't matter which platform you are using. Um, just look for this uh, indicator. Okay, average true range, and uh, just use this. Okay, so what is this ATR indicator? Well, it actually measures the trading range for the past. X number of candles, okay? So X is determined by you, meaning you can set, uh, you know, how many candles you want to consider, right? But the default value is actually 14, okay? 14 candles, and uh, most of the time, uh, we use it for the day chart only, okay? In fact, um, I would advise you to only use it on the day chart. That means that uh, you're looking at 14 days of data, okay? Uh, I would not recommend you to do it on the H1, okay? Let's say the H1 chart or even the H4 because uh, ATR, you want to consider the entire day's trading range. You don't want to just consider, you know, a four-hour candle, okay? So use this only on the day chart, okay? So now let me explain to you why does it work, okay? Why does using an ATR work when it comes to setting your stop loss? Now, think about it this way, okay? If you got in at a good level, okay? Let's say, you know, this is the support that you got in at and you buy here, okay? You buy here. Let me just draw it. You buy over here, okay? And your job as a trader is to buy low and sell high, correct? Or sell high and buy low. If you got in at a good level, then technically price shouldn't even trade one entire tr trading range against you. So if let's say the ATR, it's, uh, let me just draw it. Let's say the ATR, Okay, draw it here. ATR is 30 pips for the day. Let's say that for the past um, 30, past 14 days, the daily movement of uh, Euro dollar is 30 pips. Okay, so if you enter at this level over here, then price shouldn't drop more than 30 pips because if you enter at a good level, then price shouldn't trade the entire trading range against you. Okay, so this is kind of a very good way for you to set your stop loss. Okay, right, especially, you know, if you are trying to, 
trade at a good level okay this will ensure that you do not get whipped out okay that if you know you are wrong then it's very likely that you are wrong okay you don't want to be in a scenario where you know you put your stop loss too tight and you thought you were wrong but actually you were not wrong and you get whipped out because your stop loss is not wide enough or you didn't set your stop loss uh, you know at the correct level okay so this will help you a lot this will help you to set your stop loss at the correct level okay so let me just show you uh, how to do it okay so what i have here is a euro dollar chart and i have the uh, uh the indicator the atr over here you can see over here that uh, this is the atr 14 okay as i said the default value is 14 so uh, in this case we are looking at the 14 14 days of data means the average range for the past 14 days. And this is the trading view platform, which is a free trading platform that uh, you can check out after this. Okay. So what you do is that, let's say uh, you are looking at Euro dollar and you want to set your stop loss and you want to buy at this uh, candle over here that I've labeled. Okay. At this arrow here. Okay. Just to be clear, this arrow here. Okay, so the question is you enter, but you, how do you set your stop loss? You do not know like, okay, I'm, I'm new to trading. I do not know where to set my stop loss. Where should I set it? Okay, so in this case, if you just look down, okay, you look horizontally down, sorry, vertically down. Okay, look here. Okay, in this case, at this level, the ATR is actually 81 pips. Okay, so what you can do is you can set a stop loss of 81 pips. Okay, and if you set it up correctly, it will look something like this. Your entry would be here. Okay, and your stop loss would be here. Okay, so in, the, in this case, uh, you would have been safe, safe from losing money in this trade because um, you know the stop loss was quite enough and price only traded you know, up to here and didn't trigger your stop loss. Okay, so this is how you use the ATR. Okay, very simple, very straightforward, but very powerful. Okay, so now before I end off this video, just a recap. Okay, in this video, I showed you uh, where you should place your stop loss. Basically, you want to place your stop loss where, you know, if price trades at it, then your whole entire trading idea is wrong. Okay, I also talk about how not to place your stop loss, right? Do not use an arbitrary number, right? Do not just say, okay, I'm going to risk X amount of dollars and not you know, do your position sizing. Okay, I showed you three case studies where I show you how to set your stop loss if you are using a horizontal level, right? How do you set a stop loss if you are using a dynamic uh, level? And also how to set your stop loss using chart patterns if you are trading chart patterns, okay? And the last thing that I went through, right, is the tip for you is to use the ATI indicator, the average true range indicator that tells you what is the trading range for the past 14 days, right? You just want to use that to set your stop loss at you know from when you enter so if the ati is 40 pips then you want to set at 40 pips from your entry okay so i hope you got value from this right please give us a thumbs up help us to grow this channel right hit the subscribe button so that uh, you will not miss out any of these kind of videos that we create for you if not thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video